Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. Um, okay, so we are nearing the end of October, which is absolutely wild just in terms of, you know, time going by. Um, but uh, that means that it's time to once again share some monthly empties. So I have a huge pile of home fragrance empties to share with you guys today. Um, there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, a lot of these candles were burned completely from start to finish. Some of these candles were utilized underneath my candle lamps. Some of these were put into candle crocks after they burned to the halfway point or three quarters of the way finished. So some of these candles may still have some wax in them, but that wax is essentially scentless. If you don't know about um, the concepts or the how to use candle accessories like crops or lamps, what you would need something like that for, I do have a video that I will list and link in the description box right below this one uh, where you can um, go just watch an entire video dedicated to the topic of candles and lamps. Um, I talk about which is the best option for you based on what your needs are. So be sure to check that out. I will also list and link where you can purchase any of the candles I'm showing here. If there's any discount codes, any of that information um, where you can save a little bit of money on any of these candles, that information will be down below as well. So. Anyway, you guys, there's a lot to discuss, so without further ado, um, let's move past this delightful intro and start talking candles. Um, I'm just going to start grabbing. This first one here is um, uh, Kringle Candle Crinkle Cookies. This was new for holiday 2023. As you can see, uh, I, I burned this one all the way down, and the last little bit, this little tiny bit of wax that was in here, I actually ended up putting it in my candle crock because I was like, I love the smell of this candle. It smells so good. If you like crinkle cookies, uh, this is, it smells exactly like a crinkle cookie. So you've got that delicious kind of chocolate note in here. You've got the espresso. You've got that steamed milk. It's just, it's chocolatey, espresso-y, heavenly cookie goodness. You, you can't go wrong with this one. Now, I do still have the two-wick version as well. Um, I was sent the holiday collection as PR, so I didn't purchase this one, but I'll be repurchasing this, especially in the wax melts um, with my next purchase from Kringle, because that is absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend. Okay, here is Pumpkin Chata from A Cheerful Giver. Um, I burned this one all the way down, as you can see. This one left a lot of residue on the side of the jar for some reason. Um, some of the other Cheerful Giver candles that I have burned did not leave this residue. So um, yeah, it's there's just kind of a range in terms of performance that I've found just from candle to candle from A Cheerful Giver. These are their um, Keepers of the Light style of candles. So this is the Mama Jar, which is kind of, I guess, you would, what you would call their medium size. Pumpkin Chata, I think, was the best performing out of all of the scents that I have. They are paraffin, which isn't my favorite. So if you are a paraffin fan, however, one of the reasons that I wanted to try a Cheerful Giver was just to be able to have a recommendation for a paraffin company. I know there's a lot of you out there that still like paraffin candles. I personally do not. I was really happy to see Kringle get rid of their paraffin wax, but I know a lot of you were bummed by that. So um, I would say definitely check out a Cheerful Giver. Um, they seem to perform like most paraffin candles do. So again, not my favorite personally. I, I can actually smell like the base paraffin wax. Um, even though there's fragrance oils in there, I can still smell that wax. There's actually people out there who can smell like the soy base in soy candles as well. So sometimes noses just pick up on different things. And for me, being able to smell that like paraffin base note, I just, I don't know, I don't love that. And I also don't think that the burn is quite as clean. So that's my beef with paraffin. But again, there are people out there who feel the exact polar opposite that I do. So I don't know, it's just a personal preference thing. Um, burn, whatever floats your boat. Okay, here we have Apple Pumpkin Pie from Country Candle. This was one of the new releases for fall this year. I love this scent. It's just a very classic, almost borderline craft store type smell. Um, I feel like there's a lot of candle companies out there who have done 
fragrance is very similar to this. Um, Yankee has a similar scent. Um, I feel like even Homeworks has a similar type of scent. It's basically a mix of like an apple and a pumpkin with like the classic fall spices. It's delicious. Um, I really like that one a lot. Here's another one that I really love. This one is the Cherry Crumble. Um, obviously burned this one down completely. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. This cherry has some cranberry with it, which makes it a little bit more fall appropriate. But I think that I could actually burn this during the summertime as well. So it's kind of a great like multi-season type scent. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I hope they keep it around. I would definitely purchase more of that. Okay, here is a candle that lived um, the start from start to finish its entire life underneath a candle lamp. So this last layer of wax that you see here is now unscented. With a lamp, you do peer, pour off the wax layer by layer because the lamp is obviously heating from the top down, not from the bottom all the way up and around like a crock. So um, you do have to pour off the wax. Um, so this last layer here was melted and it smells like nothing now. It just smells like wax basically. Um, I love berry pumpkin waffles, but I purchased so many of these that uh, you'll probably see at least one or two more of these in here. I know there's one downstairs that will be finished before the end of the month, so that one I'm just going to end up tossing when I'm done. Love the scent. Hope it sticks around, um, but I just bought too many. I am still on a mission currently to whittle down my, um, specifically my homework wax collection because that got kind of out of control. Just the years of shopping at QVC really did me in when it comes to having that collection explode. I have a lot of Homeworks candles in these boxes behind me here. You can't see them because they're cleverly hidden in the little pullouts, but they're full of candles and I need to work my way through those. So that's my current mission. Okay, here is Leaf Peeper. This was new for fall from the original Kringle soy line. You can see I burned this most of the way and then the last little bit I did put into my candle crock. You can tell the candle crock candles because the wick, um, the wick clips get loosened from the bottom with the heat of the crock and so they will float around. One thing I want to tell you is that if you're not familiar with candle crocks, once you put a candle into a crock, you are never going to light that candle again because of this very reason right here. Do you see how close this wick is to the to the edge of the jar? Don't ever light that. <laughs> You're going to cause this to crack. Yes, this is a heat resistant jar that is meant for a candle. However, no jar is going to withstand this amount of heat and not potentially crack. So what you have then is not only a mess on your hands, but a fire hazard. So. Let's all remember our candle safety. If you do decide to retire a candle to the crock, that's where it finishes its life. So leaf paper, by the way, is a great scent. It's a lot like um, leaves from Bath and Body Works. It's a more palatable version of leaves. Okay, here we have Red Delicious from the Kringle Reserve line. Now, I don't even know if I ever reviewed this one. I burned it a few times and then I opted to go ahead and just put it into one of my candle crocks. It is a really delicious, I would say more Macintosh apple type scent. So it doesn't actually smell like a red delicious. Honestly, I feel like this doesn't even have much scent in it, but um, the red delicious apples, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're oftentimes kind of mealy. I just, I don't love them, but Macintosh is a sweeter apple. And I feel like that's what I get in here is that sweeter apple type note. But anyway, this is not my favorite apple from Kringle. It was really well done, but let me tell you what my favorite apple is, and I'm not sure if it's currently available, but if it is, oh my gosh, you have to try it. Hold on, I have to put a lid on this because I just got it out of my candle crock in my master bedroom. This is the best apple scent that I think Kringle has ever made, and I would put money on that. This is Radiant Apple. Um, this has blue permane apples as the fragrance note, and I, I have to find a blue permane apple. They are beautiful. They're also supposed to be really delicious, and they're great in apple pies. So I gotta get me some blue permane apples, but if you are looking for the very best apple scent, if that is currently available in the Kringle Reserve line, get it. So, so good. Um, here we have Trick or Treat. So I know some of you Halloween fans are probably going to cringe at the fact that I did put this into a candle crock. I did burn it um, a number of times just to be able to review it. This is again a really great apple scent from Kringle. I love the fragrance, 
Personally, I don't decorate my house for Halloween, so I don't want to say the labels are lost on me. I do appreciate them, but for me, the fragrances are really good on some of these Halloween scents. And while I, you know, could put them out, and I will put out a couple for actual Halloween because Stella actually has requested a couple. Um, this one here, uh, I decided to go ahead and put into a candle crock. Now with this amount of wax, I got like two weeks of like warming and I'm talking 24 seven, I don't turn my crocks off. So I got a good amount of life out of this and I think I actually got more fragrance life out of it, putting it in a crock and leaving it on 24 seven than I would have burning it. When you're burning a candle, the wax dissipates obviously. So um, when you're melting it, it does not. Here we have another uh, a cheerful giver. This is pecan Belgian waffles. This was another one where there was just a lot of wax that did not end up melting. Now I put this on one of like my hot plate warmers, but this at the bottom of this jar was much um, wider than the actual warmer itself. So it never really melted this edge over here. And these are too, they're too big to put into a crock. And at this level, they didn't really work underneath the lamp. So anyway, I feel like I wasted some wax here, but what are you gonna do? So I don't know. Um, they just certainly have different jars available. Maybe these mama and papa style jars aren't the best option from them. But if you are more of a cheerful giver uh, expert, do let us know down below. Okay, here we have a controversial homeworks candle that a lot of people hated, coffee shop, but a lot of people also loved. <laughs> I was in the love camp. I think this one performed great for me. It has nutmeg in it. So if you don't like nutmeg in your coffee, skip this because you're gonna be like, ew, gross, I hate it. I loved it, delicious. Um, pumpkin spice. Okay, so this is like the Kringle scent that when I first smelled it, I was like, oh, that's nice. It smells like all the false spices. Basically, it kind of smells like allspice, right? But there's nothing really gourmand about this. It's just the spice note. So what makes this great is that it's a wonderful blender candle. So whether you have a bunch of gourmand wax melts going, or you have a bunch of other gourmand candles going, maybe you wanna amp up the spice a little bit, you do it with this autumn spice. This is delicious. And while this is not something that I would like stock up on personally, cause I think one of these a season would do me, I think it's a fantastic scent to have on hand. And if you just like those spice notes, you need to give this the old college try because it's beautiful. There's a lot of crinkles in here. Okay, here we have gilded leaves. Now, gilded leaves, I burned almost all the way to the bottom. And then the last little bit I did put into the candle crock for just a couple days just to experience it in there. I have to admit, I think I actually liked this better when it was warming than when it was burning, which is interesting. I liked the scent when it was uh, burning as well. This has a little bit of like the, a touch of that like wet leaves type note, but it's also slightly perfumey. It's very interesting. I've already done an in-depth review of this one. There's still a couple of these Kringle Reserve candles that I have yet to review. I'm trying to get around to those in the next few days here, at least getting them filmed. Um, but I also need to start putting up all of these like Christmas reviews as well. So time just flew by this fall like i just there's not even enough time to review all these candles at least not without putting up like multiple videos a day that's why when i do like the candle review days i typically upload a review in the morning and at night it's just a way for me to get like those reviews out um in a faster manner so um that's why i do that in case you were wondering tea time listen this was a group this was a this was released for the spring summer, right? Yes, okay, this was released this year for the spring summer. Um, this is kind of a like tea and like spicy chai type combo. This is a really interesting scent, I love it. I didn't think it was a spring or summer appropriate <laughs> fragrance. I'm a really seasonal burner, so I have like strong feelings about this. I thought this was actually a better fall type scent. If you are looking for a spicy tea candle for the fall, Give this one a try, you're gonna love it. I think that would actually be great throughout the holidays as well. Okay, this one I just decided to retire because look at where this wick is. It's like living on the side of the jar. Um, I think it was just glued improperly from the get-go because you can see the wick clip right there. That's the edge of the wick clip there. Um, this is Donut Shop. I expected this to smell like fried dough, but it smells 
a lot more like a touch of like a slight gourmand with Aqualina pink sugar. Um, didn't love this one. Again, this was a cheerful giver. This is one of their baby candles. It's in the same line as this mama style jar, but so it goes papa, mama, baby. So large, medium, small, small being this one. So anyway, not terribly impressed with that one. Wouldn't recommend it unless that's the type of scent you're looking for, but I was looking for a donut scent like this delicious candle here. Hot Cider Donut from uh, Homeworks. I love this one. There's nothing bad to say about it. I have multiple backups. It smells like fried dough uh, and cinnamon and sugar sprinkled over top the fried dough. So good. Can never go wrong with it. Okay, here we have, now this one I did put underneath my candle lamp just to see what it would be like. So there is still some wax left in here, but it is unscented wax at this point. In fact, this just smells up. It smells like straight up paraffin. This is almond butter pound cake. Great fragrance, but not enough oomph, not enough strength, not enough throw. Um, and that's kind of my general complaint about paraffin is I just don't find it to be quite as strong either. So love the scent though. Um, if I could get that, say at, at Kringle. Oh man. I would love to transfer some of the fragrances that a cheerful giver has over to Kringle because I think they would be so much better in soy wax, but that's probably not a nice thing to say. Anyway, here we have another candle that lived the last little bit of its life in a candle crock. This is churros and chocolate, and it is pure heaven and delight, you guys. Uh, it smells like uh, a, kind of like a Mexican hot chocolate almost delicious if you like chocolate with a touch of spice to it yum but do you smell churro not necessarily but you smell like the cinnamon sugar coating from the churro if that makes sense um let me just get this up because this one has some schmutz on the bottom and i don't want to put that on my carpet oh look you guys it's an og three wick not a three wick that was created by one of the wicks falling but this is a uh fall 2017 Homeworks candle back when they were still three wicks. Autumn Pumpkin is one of my OG scents, like OG favorite scents from Homeworks and it finally came back this year. In fact, I also have it in this format here. Hold please. Oh, I gotta. Yeah, I finished my Lux. This was the Lux that I purchased from the Homeworks website. Um, I loved it the whole way down. Great. I do wish it was a little bit stronger based on the the oomph the heft if you will of this container um but that being said the strength and throw was good it certainly filled up the bulk of the downstairs of my house so for that i i think it you know was good but i do think that something of this size should be like a 10 out of 10 and it was more of like an 8 out of 10 if that makes sense so that being said it, it still performed fine and they're beautiful. They're beautiful vessels. And while we're here, let's check out this bad boy. Now, this one was a PR item. I didn't pay for this one. But after I got this one, uh, it pushed me over the edge to purchase the Autumn Pumpkin. These are both of my holiday. Well, well, yeah, I do use both during the holidays. But I guess these are more like fall staples for me. This one burned down. Just great as well. No sooting, no discoloration, anything like that. Did fine. This is Harvest Leaves. Um, also a staple for me and um, just this has cranberry in it it has just a touch of like a tree type note it's beautiful and if you've never tried it I would highly recommend it um, again the Lux did great for me so I, I would purchase another Lux candle for sure but the Lux candles you guys have been showing up at places like Tar uh, not Target <laughs> Home Goods Marshalls TJ Maxx um, if you ever see them there they're a much better deal. So if you if there's a scent you like, I would suggest grabbing it. I, I would. I would grab another one. I don't need any if I don't need any more candles, but I would be very, very tempted by that and I would. I would buy them. Rosemary Appleorita. So you're seeing a lot of apple scents here. I was basically trying to get them out of the system because for me, September really is usually the only time where I like to burn or enjoy apple scents and um, this September uh, kind of got away from me <laughs> and I was doing apple further into October than I normally do but this rosemary apple Rita is really interesting if you like an apple scent with a touch of an herbal note give this a try this one lived most of its life obviously well half of its life 
in a camel crop. Really enjoyed that one for sure. We're nearing the end here, I promise. And then we just have a boatload of wax melts. <laughs> All right, spice apple crumb. I love spice apple crumb. If you are looking for apple crumb, is it apple crumb cake or apple crumb from Bath and Body Works back in the day when Harry was there, he actually developed that fragrance. And um, then I think just brought it over to Homeworks because they smell exactly the same. <laughs> I had both um, at the same time. I smelled them next to each other on cold sniff and burning through the same scent. So if you want that old school Bath and Body Works, version uh check out spice apple crumb you should be able to get this at homeworks.shop i don't know and right now you should actually be able to use uh the affiliate discount codes or your rewards if you're interested with whatever sale that's happening so um yeah check out my discount code it's just melanie p just the letter p and that'll save you 10 percent. but you have to spend 40 dollars or more so anyway think it, it, look through see if you have any rewards and then use whatever saves you the most amount of money all right um we have a spiced pumpkin puree which started and ended its life underneath my candle lamp um just a very typical fall pumpkin scent nothing special about this scent work scent in fact this was a gift from my friend fiona she passed this along to me um i don't purchase scent works myself i have better luck with homeworks than i do with scent works uh, if you're not familiar same brand okay a couple more nutmeg and spice okay listen if you like nutmeg and spice from bath and body works back in the day um this uh, cheerful giver version, I think it smells ex almost exactly the same, almost. There's a touch of gourmand that I feel like is missing from this nutmeg and spice, but you could get that with just burning a nice basic vanilla candle alongside. Uh, this is fabulous. This is one of the scents that I would like for Kringle to do a version of is, you know, that like Nutmeg, nutmeg and spice goodness. I just love it so much. I think it's delicious. Anyway, here we have another candle that I just pulled out of a candle crock. Now this lived in my candle crock for about a week and a half. This is warm Cinnabons. Um, I could have kept burning this. It was burning fine. It was great in terms of strength and throw. Um, definitely very average for a country candle. But that being said, uh, I really liked this as a background type of fragrance. So I had it in my crock and then had all sorts of wax melts that like complemented this, other candles that I was burning, like a lot of holiday tree type scents that I'm burning. I'm just craving that right now for some reason. I'm so ready for Christmas. I know a lot of people are not, but I'm always excited about Christmas. Anyway, this is a great background scent. I actually want to get more of this in the wax melts coming up here soon. Okay, there's a lot of wax melts, you guys. Um, I have a feeling that, let me just, um, hold on please. Sorry, I've been filming for quite a while and my camera will cut me off. So this will allow me to at least know that I have some time here. All right, so let's dive through some of these wax melts here. The majority are from Scentsy. There's a couple in here from um, Vendor Wax as well. And then there is a Candleberry one. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this just vendor, random vendor wax that I had. This was Rose Girls Vanilla Lace. This smelled exactly like the vanilla lace the, from uh, Victoria's Secret, if you remember that from back in the early 2000s. Um, I loved vanilla lace. Apparently it's discontinued now, which was a bummer to hear, although I haven't even been in a Victoria's Secret in many, many years. Um, so I wouldn't even know what body care they still had available. Do they still have the Heavenly Perfume? I should go get some Heavenly Perfume because I used to wear that and I got so many compliments on it delightful anyway vanilla lace if you miss that scent this rose girls smells spot on very very accurate this one here is luke's dinner wax pie from scoopable tart this was a mix of absolute coffee pumpkin pecan waffles pancakes and vanilla crunch donuts it was delicious but a lot of vendor wax i find has this weird like gelatinous texture i've talked about this before it like kind of turns almost into a jelly like consistency in my Scentsy warmers. I tend to use um, almost exclusively 25 watt Scentsy warmers. I am not the type to purchase like special types, special wattage type warmers to use with vendor wax. I just, I, I tend to go for Scentsy for the most part. So it doesn't make sense for me to necessarily have, um, warmers just for vendor wax because it's so rare that i get it so usually it has to be able to perform in my scentsy warmers 
Um, a lot of it does, but it does turn this like weird gelatinous consistency. Does that have something to do with the it just not enough heat being available to melt everything properly i don't know if you are a wax scientist let me know um here we have candleberry cranberry crumb cake you guys i did not like this at all this smelled like straight up mulberry to me and mulberry smells I don't know, it smells old to me. I don't know what it is about mulberry. I have never liked it as a fragrance and um, it just smells very cheap to me. It smells like a cheap bathroom air freshener. That's what this smelled like. So 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Pass on that one for sure, gross. Oh, oh. All right, vanilla suede. Um, I believe this was Bring Back My Bar. I think I have this in my club. I think I took it out. I don't know. My club order is supposed to be here soon. I didn't change anything. Did I? I honest, I don't remember. I don't remember if I changed stuff in my club or not. We'll, we'll all be surprised when it gets here. Well, I'll be surprised. Um, but this is great. If I took this out, it was a big mistake on my part. Uh, vanilla suede is like a vanilla, but it's got like, I feel like it's got some like amber patchouli vanilla type vibes. It's really lovely. Also like a leather type note almost. Love it, love the performance too. Frightfully delightful, I love this. This is peach and pumpkin, which you wouldn't think would pair together well. They do, they do. And it's in this bar here. If you like that, um, give this a try. It's one of the Disney bars, so unfortunately it's more expensive, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, by the way, I, I don't sell Scentsy. If you're new here, I don't sell Scentsy. I buy it from my bestie Lisa, who sells it. <laughs> She's my dealer, Painted Leaves. This one is a lot more fresh, a little bit cologne to my nose. Um, I don't love this one, but I think it's nice. It's always nice to have some fresh options. Um, what is it? Is it eucalyptus that's in here? It might be the eucalyptus that's bothering me. I don't know. But that being said, if you like fresh scents, I think this is a nice option from Cincy. Um, happy birthday. There might be a couple of happy birthdays in here. Uh, it's in my club. It's my favorite. I have like seven bars of this in my club. That's how much I love happy birthday. It smells like funfetti birthday cake. Although some people say marble cake. I think those people are wrong. I think it's funfetti birthday cake, but you know, whatever, whatever your nose picks up is what your nose picks up. Baked apple pie smells like, um, mostly, Actually, like the apple pie filling. I wish there was a little bit more crust to this, but it is delicious. Love the performance of that one too. Caramel apple craze. Listen, if you want your house to smell like the fair, um, for me that meant uh, growing up, I went to the Puyallup Fair up in Washington. Um, this smells basically like caramel apples and kettle corn. Like if you just mix those two together, it's fabulous. Definitely recommend. Here we have cranberry and cardamom. I think this is nice, but it's not, I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. I think the cranberry in here is not tart enough for me. I wish the cranberry was a little bit more tart, but it's not bad. It's a nice cranberry scent. Stroopwafel Delight. A Stroopwafel is, um, I'm sure you've probably seen them. They're available at Costco right now, by the way, if you need some Stroopwafels. I did not get them because my doctor put me on a diet, which is, a terrible bummer right before the holidays, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so street waffles are two thin waffle wafers, and in between those two thin, and I'm talking thin, um, is just a, a slight smear of caramel, if you will. And the way, the best way to have a waffle is to get your morning cup of coffee together, and then you get out your little stroop waffle and you place it over your coffee cup. They're usually big enough to like fit over your coffee cup and the steam and the heat from your coffee rises and it warms not only the waffle, but the gooey caramel inside. And then you just, you just eat that and it's so good. Oh my God, it's good. Anyway, this smells just like, it, you're missing the coffee part in here, but the like the actual edible stroop waffle smells exactly like this. Another frightfully delightful. Um, scary Good. Scary Good is a little bit of a spicier pumpkin kind of. Think uh, pumpkin carving from Bath and Body Works. Love this one. It performs great. Strength and throw is good. Um, Forever Fall. This is nice. So this is, um, you know what this kind of a little tiny bit reminds me of is Autumn Wreath from Yankee. Do I still have one? Hold please. 
Oh my gosh, this is, a, look at this. Pumpkin wreath, not autumn wreath, pumpkin wreath. I think these smell kind of similar. Let's do a little testy. Yeah. This one has a touch of like a cologne-y, cologne type note, whereas this does not, but they're very, very similar. Listen, if you like pumpkin wreath, you're going to like Forever Fall. So I think, how long has this been discontinued? When's this one from? This is from 2000. I believe this is 2014. I think I got this at the Yankee Outlet down in Woodburn, which by the way is no longer open. So if you live in Oregon, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Woodburn kind of sucks now. There's not much down there. I mean, there's still the usuals. They're pretty decent Banana Republic factory outlet down there. That one's decent. Craig likes the Nautica store. Anyway, let's keep going. Almond croissant, love it. It smells exactly like an almond croissant. This is my favorite. I need this to come back and bring back my bar because I'm down to, I think I only have two in my club. Big mistake. Uh, I need like eight of these every month. I, if I could just melt one, just no way. If I could just melt two Scentsy fragrances for the remainder of my life, it would be happy birthday and almond croissant. That's how much I love this. Please bring it back. Also apples and oats. This is so good, you guys. I love apples and oats. This is another one where I want this to come back in voting. It's so basic, but it's so good. I am the girl that loves all of the basic scents. I'm telling you, frosted cinnamon roll. It's, this smells just like a frosted cinnamon roll. It's delicious. Pretty good performer. Another happy birthday. Gimme candy. Listen, I, I don't think that I love this one. This is one of those bars where I feel like I've tried it a couple times now and I just smell candy corn. I think this is what this is supposed to be, is candy corn. So you smell that like creamed honey type note. And I don't really like honey, but I just don't, I don't think I like this. I, th I think gimme candy is just something that I can get past now. I think, I think I've come to terms with that. Apple press. This was a bring back my bar, I think from quite a while ago. And you know, with me being in my apple season uh, at the end of September, I decided to pop this into the warmers. Nice, fresh apple scent, very straightforward apple. And the last one, oh, you guys, a classic and my very last one. And once again, I took it out of my club again, even though I should not have, what is this? Sweet plum pastry. I mean, look at that packaging. That is old for sure. Bring back my bar. Oh, so many people smell um, cigarettes in this fragrance. I don't know where they get that. I just smell a delicious plum tart, like a plum pastry. I think it smells so good. I love this one. And my fingers are crossed that it comes back at some point soon for sure. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's no almond croissant. It's no happy birthday, but it's definitely up there in my top five from Scentsy of all time. That would be a fun video to do. What are like my top all time favorite Scentsy fragrances? I think, I think we need to do that video. Okay. I'll put that on the list. Anyway, you guys, thank you for being here and sitting through this absolutely massive empties. There are so many wax melts. There are, there's a lot of candles. I'm really glad that I finished as much as I did with candles. And again, I do utilize the Crocs quite a bit. I utilize my candle lamps quite a bit. It really helps me get through a lot more of my wax. Now, if you're smart, you don't over purchase to begin with, but you know, this is, this has been a major hobby of mine for years. And I think that periodically I just kind of realized that my wax collection has gotten out of control and I rein it in and I'm kind of in one of those like reining in, um, periods right now. Trust me, it's probably not going to last, but I figure while I am in the mood to do it, I need to try to whittle down my collection just a little bit. I feel like I've done really great this year. By the way, at the end of this year, I will be doing another like what's left in my collection or what's currently in my collection. I will do that for all of the different brands like Bath & Body Works, um, Kringle. I'll do that for uh, Homeworks as well and my wax melt collection. So we'll see what, um, what I was left with at the end of this year after 
definitely purchasing quite a bit, but also kind of pulling back a little bit on my purchasing as well. So pretty proud of myself. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know what you finished in the comments down below. Thank you for having the patience to sit through this video. Big fat high five to you. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.